Up for a visitor? As long as it doesn't involve potting soil and adequate sunlight. No, no, no. It doesn't require anything to do with plants or anything What's like that. Just positive that energy. Bad oh, oh, no, that's for it's me. Not. You shouldn't know. And let's see. And it's not for me, is it? Hey, I need to talk to Jason. Where is he? Uh, he's out of town. Well, I know that much. Can you call him for me? Uh, he's working, and he, I don't think he, he he has time to deal with your problems right now. This is an emergency, Sonny. Are you bleeding? This is about Michael Moore. No, the boys are fine. Okay, then I can wait. Can you please call him for me? No, no, no. I don't they know. give me the number. I'll call him myself. If he doesn't want to talk to me, then he can tell me. What is the emergency, Carly? It's personal, and I'm not going to talk to you about it. <laughs> Okay, that means it's about you and Jax. I'm sure Carly will be really thrilled with this. Yes, thank you. I know what you're going to say, so just... You don't know what I'm going to say. say. Yeah, you don't know what I'm going to say at all, Good. because I'm too tired to tell you that your heart is going to be paled on her. Oh, heart. come on, my heart is perfectly safe with Carly. Okay? It's just... I thought you left town. To get over this, and now you come back here to let her torture you? No, somehow? Carly was not the reason that I left town, okay? After I... I gave John over... I mean, Spencer, after I gave Spencer over to Nicholas. I just couldn't imagine my life without that little boy in it. But the longer I stayed away, the more I realized I really missed what Carly and I had together. So... Like I said, I'm too tired to tell you that I think that you deserve more than what Carly can get. You know, when Carly thought that I was in trouble, she flew to Africa with her kids to make sure that I was okay. That's the kind of person she is. Mm. So now it's my turn to prove to Carly that her heart is safe with me. You flew all the way across the world to find Candy Boy and he's already treating you like a piece of dirt. Not that it's any of your business, but Jax is jumping through hoops to get me to trust That's him again. That's a game. He just, you know, he's going to throw some cash around, he's going to have a little bit of fun, and but, you know, he's not making any real effort. This is why I want to talk to Jason, because he doesn't talk just to hear himself speak. How long do you think it's going to take Jax to get bored and go back to Africa? A week, two weeks, three weeks? Jax is willing to wait for me as long as it takes for me to trust him again. You know why? Because he trusts me. Unlike some people that do nothing but test me. Is, is this about you and Jax or you and me? This may come as a surprise to you, but my life doesn't revolve around you. Well, that's because you're too busy letting it revolve around Jax. What happened to the new and improved Carly, the one, you know, who doesn't need a man? I don't need Jax. Is that what you're trying to prove by packing up everything, chasing after him like he's, you know, I don't know. I fight for what I want. You're just jealous that I'm not fighting for you? Okay. Uh, I am I'm worried about you because you were doing great, and I don't want to see you melt down when it doesn't work out with Jax. I'm not going to melt down. And if I have any problems, I will go to Jason, okay? He's, he's busy. He's busy right now. He doesn't need to be Busy bothered. with what? Uh, Business or Sam? It does not matter. Let me tell you something. You can do Jason and Sam and yourself a big favor if you would tell Alexis what her slime of a husband did to her daughter. I know how you are in relationships. You just get right in there and then your heart breaks and then you get all hurt. Is that what you want to have happen hey, again? There's no such thing as love without risk, okay? Mm. Unless, of course, you're happily married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and no guarantees to that either. I want you to write this down. What? Life is fragile, and so is love. That doesn't mean we should live in fear of either one. You know better than anyone what Carly is capable of. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, she gives the best. Oh, first. my God, I'm I... sick enough already. Oh, please, come on. Oh, my point is, <sighs> listen, the thing that draws us to the people that we love, okay, is what makes it risky to be in a relationship with them in the first place. Hmm. I mean, you really, you don't know how solid anyone is until things start to get rocky. They can be really good in a crisis and really bad on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Then there are those paragons of love and trust, like us. <laughs> but you know, who managed to succeed at both. <laughs>
It was a marriage of convenience, and it was the most functional relationship that I've ever had. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought that honor would go to your current spouse. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, there he is, all dressed up with somewhere to go. Well, that uh, makes two of us. See you later. Mm -hmm.